Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk about how you can sort a word table and how you can number a word table. So first of all, I've got a small table on the screen and I want to quickly go through how you can sort this table. So if I click into the table first of all to activate the, the two tabs at the top, table design and layout. Layout is the option I need to go on to and on the right there, you can see sort. When I click this button, it highlights the whole table, or I could have done that myself first. And key things we need to look at here, you've got a drop down list there, which is just coming up with column names. The reason it's doing that is because I haven't ticked this option at the bottom, which will tell the computer that this top row is the uh, headings for the columns. So I do want to sort by name, but you can see now it's changed to the headings. So the first one by name, it's on text. You've got different options in there. I want it ascending and it's a paragraph. Then if there is two names the same, what it will do, go to this box if there's anything in it. And then I want to sort by department and I'm going to leave everything else the same. And then finally by salary. So that's the sort it's going to do. So we'll, if there's no duplicates in the first column, it will just do it by that. If there is a duplicate, it will then look at department. And if there's two names the same and the same department, it will then look at salary. So it just does these other ones if there's a, a duplicate. If I click OK to that, it's now sorted that. So you can see that. So it's how simple that is. Quick sort, sort box, set the criteria you want, and then click OK and off it goes. Now to number a list in a table, let's go back to home. If I highlight this table, it's highlighted already from what the computer did. If I go to a numbered list, what it does, it puts numbers on every single box. And each one of these numbers, if you click into them, is, is indented in. So you've got, there's this cell, this little grid here. And there's an indent so it's a hanging indent which has been created when you do a numbered list which is normal you can actually move that across so if I just pick this up and take it back to the margin but I don't want all these other numbers on anyhow so I'm just going to do undo Control Z twice to get back to where I was what I want is just the numbers on this bit So I've highlighted that, now I'm going to put the numbers on that, and then I want to push this back, like so. So now, only that first column has the numbers in, and the good thing about this is if you highlight a row and decide to move that row up, so if I drag that row up and let go, so row's gone to the top, it just renumbers itself, so it's quite a simple way to number things. You just have to be careful that you don't number all the boxes. You might want to number all the boxes, but I didn't in this example. And if I insert a row, so I've inserted a row, it automatically assumes that's going to be row two. And then I can just put somebody else's information in there and whatever the information should be. And then I can resort this, which I will do. Let's just give them some money. And then the phone number can be whatever. So if I want to resort this now, I'll just go back onto the layout tab, click on sort, name department, still remembering the same things because I'm still in the same document. Click OK and it puts the new person at the top and the number in reorders itself, which is great. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.